Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here comparing the Galaxy S5 Android Phone with Lollipop uh, with touch with UI here compared to the uh, the stock version of uh, Android 5 and Lollipop here on the Nexus 5 which also looks similar on the Nexus 6 but uh, let's do this UI comparison here uh, so um, the Samsung uh, software here is with touch with UI which sounds its own UI on top of Android so uh, let's uh, do a quick little comparison so let's go down here like the first uh, at the top bar here and you can see that they do look a little bit different here because you do get a lot of toggles here down here where you get them up here uh, on the uh, Samsung phone uh, so um, I mean you do get kind of the same things you can toggle but you do get a little bit more here as you can see on the uh, GS5 and here you, you only get a few uh, both have also a quick access here to um, to the settings oh now I just tapped on battery uh, and yeah you don't get quick access to battery here on the um, on the S5 but you can go quickly into settings here on both and uh, they do look here a little bit different. Samsung decided to go with large icons here uh, versus um, the stock version here, which is not having that. Sweet. Uh, you can also see you do get some more additions here on uh, the, um, the stock version. You do have profiles, uh, so you can add guests uh, that can um, you can have different profiles you so you can have on computers uh, which is pretty cool uh, if you want some users to not have access to everything that's not something you can do here in touch with you do have some things like s finder though so you can quickly find things on your device uh, and uh, quick connect which uh, is probably also kind of cool feature here uh, something connect with their tv and stuff like that could be great but uh, a little bit disappointing you do want to have this profile feature there as well um, if you hold in here on both you do get very very familiar with widgets and um, wallpaper quickly change that if we um, open up the app drawer here uh, you can also see the Samsung inside to go with the transparent background here and here you do get some kind of like random white background in the stock version I don't think I like it that much compared to this little bit more clean Samsung UI experience if you ask me uh, both of course have uh, the card based UI which I find pretty awesome. Uh, of course they look different in, in apps. Samsung have um, a lot of like some weird colors, color combinations I think like green and yellow. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Uh, I do find the stock experience to be a little bit more awesome. But it definitely looks better uh, probably compared to earlier versions of TouchWiz. If we check out the lock screen, then you can see that there's nothing really big that have changed. But here you only get access to the camera though. And here you can get access to the dialer and the camera. So there's a little bit more features there. Uh, of course, both have um, like widgets on the lock screen that you can also enable. And I do enjoy uh, here on the Samsung phone that you get a little bit more toggles when you're booting uh, or turning off your device instead of use power off you get airplane mode and restart and emergency mode so uh, yeah I mean that's that's just uh, superb uh, you can see when we're changing modes here uh, volume uh, you have a priority mode uh, you do have a all mode and uh, non mode uh, so that's what you do get no interruptions uh, here on the Samsung phone, I do believe that it feels a little bit better because you can just go into quick settings here and quickly toggle all of these. Um, so both are good, I think. Uh, if we uh, go into, let's see, up here we do have a settings area. And let's see here. Do we have that in this app drawer? 
no we don't but yeah just a quick little ui comparison i mean overall they are very very similar uh, but uh, you do have some changes in in touch with ui definitely especially in here and um, definitely some apps is going to look different but um, overall there is still stock or i mean the android experience is still there so yeah just a quick little check out our video on that hopefully you do enjoy and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video peace out